A developing story in Highlands Ranch this hour. The search for a teenager with special needs who disappeared from his home. This is 16-year-old Ethan Ryder. Presumably spent the night in the elements last night in that cold weather, last seen around noon yesterday on Spring Hill Lane in Highlands Ranch. Somebody's reporter Tyler Lopez is at the search staging area. That's at Thunder Ridge High School there in Highlands Ranch. And Tyler, this is the second time he wandered off over the course of the weekend. Rich, actually, it's the third time since Friday night, most recently Sunday. All these search efforts being conducted in sub-freezing temperatures, and it's cold again. They're concerned the special needs team could be in real danger just from the elements alone. We've seen search and rescue crews here telling us some of them they've been here three times looking for the same young man. Last time, they had to stop at midnight last night, leaving the overnight hours to on-duty patrol officers and deputies. But they tell me he also left on Saturday at some point, and the first time was Friday about 7.30, wearing only a T-shirt and jeans. Now, Littleton police spotted him 2.30 in the morning on Saturday, walking around a parking lot near County Line in Santa Fe. We're told he also left again on Saturday, and then Sunday it was noon when Ryder disappeared. Now, because he's a special needs teen who's also depressed, and because it's believed he's only wearing a T-shirt and jeans again, the sheriff's office is paying special attention here. Generally speaking, you know, a teenager that would run away would just go hang out with their friends or, or go somewhere. Um, in this scenario, uh, we don't have any information that he really has any resources in the immediate area that he would be going and hanging out. Uh, that's why we have uh, resources out looking for this gentleman or this young man, as well as asking the public's help. So Ethan Ryder is 16 years old. He's six foot two, extremely skinny, only 150 pounds, believed to be wearing only blue jeans and a red T-shirt in these temperatures with brown hair and brown eyes. Now we've seen about a dozen folks from the Douglas County Search and Rescue Team using Thunder Ridge as a staging area. They tell us they're going to concentrate on the northwest section of open space areas. They don't need more volunteers, but they're definitely concerned about the temperatures because we are getting snow again. Live at Highlands Ranch, Tyler Lopez, 7.